Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. That mod was not working at all, so I went ahead and removed it. And we are now in a different area of Seal Because I do have some keys that I want to try. And uh, what do you know? It worked. All right, we got a new book, Fortunate Day, a trip down to the beaches of the Black Cove, yielded a wonderful treasure, a talking head. Katarina says it is the stuff of source, but how can such a silly gag be the product of dark magic? It insists its name is Nick, but I think I'll call it Stefan. Now, where there's a name with f the flair of the showman about it, wouldn't luck have it the curio known knows a story or two already? And what a voice! My show will be the most profitable at the fair. I fairly bulge with joy when I think of the sad sack look on Cedric's face. We leveled up. Cool. I'm hearing a noise. Like, back here. Whatever that noise is, I hear it through the... Everything we do seems to fortify your abilities. Hmm. Hmm. The team hardly enjoys being confused with your massive wobbling head. Okay, I think I missed out on a, um, but whatever. I don't feel like loading it back up <clears throat> we have another door we can maybe open nope okay maybe the lock can be jimmied hmm. appears to be locked Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Okay. So we can't get in there quite yet, but that's fine. Can we get in here, I wonder? General store closed indefinitely. Squatters keep out. Okay. Nope. Can't get in there yet. It's locked. I 
wonder. Nope, okay. That's what I thought. Actually, no, I am going to try something. Okay, now we know. So I thought. Can't break windows, fair enough. Good to know. Um, oh yeah, we leveled up, huh? I might save this. Because if I want any more stuff, I will need two points. I might go for that, actually. Yeah, I might go for this. Personality. I mean, I don't really need money, so bartering is not really an issue. I want to go for bodybuilding. Two extra ability points. Ooh, okay. Escapist allows me to flee from combat when enemies are next to me. Doubles the effect of food. I can heal in blood. Light stepper. That one actually would be beneficial. Because then I wouldn't have to worry about That's not worth it. I mean, this would be worth it so that the enemies won't attack me as much. Double is what I can weigh. I don't really have a weight issue though as of yet. I might go for this one. Yeah, I might go for this so that I don't have to worry about repairing stuff as much. Or... No, I'll go for this one right here. So I have two points. I can go for six more armor. Reduces the cost of attacking by two. So that's one more. Okay. Use five novice, two adept, and zero master. 
So then I can use two adept, which I don't only really need adept for right now. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I know what I want to do. I want to be able to do this. And I say that because. It takes five for, for me to do that. So if I do this, it should take, yes. Okay, so it did not change, but I'm going to do this one as well. And then I'm going to do this one. Alright, yeah, that's what I want is the same ones for them, for her at least, and then that is set. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Excellent. Alright. What building is that? That's, okay, that's that. Alright. Can I go in here? I can. So, what's the bad news? More orcs rampaging through the docks? Or have those infernal statues sent another soul flying to his death? This here is my family business. Yes, there's been a Robert escorting stiffs into the next life since the foundation of Sysail itself. They don't write epics about morticians. I'm proud of my work nonetheless. Sad story, that. Though if I'm speaking plainly, the sentimental aspect of it all doesn't make much of an impression on an undertaker. Especially not these days, with so many laid low by the orcs and such like. I just concern myself with giving the remains a respectable exit from mm. life. We set him to rest in the northern graveyard. Perhaps he can finally get a little peace. What about it? Didn't I just say we gave it a respectable send-off? Why are you giving me the third degree? Hmm. Now, if you don't mind, I'm trying to run a business here. Robert's Ledger, Corpse, Corpse, okay. Baskets, baskets, read. Furthermore, I find it impossible that any but Mayor Cecil, Captain Arius, Evelyn, or Esmeralda would have been able to gain access to the body without my noticing. A corpse can't just vanish into thin air. And even if it could, it's not as though a strong wind could blow a sack of gold onto the empty slab. No, one of them must have been involved. But as long as no one goes up digging Jake's coffin, I don't see how the crime could ever be traced back Looks to like me. Looks like the is rather suspicious about Jake. What could Mayor Cecil, Captain Aureus, or Evelyn Treasure! have to do with it? I did not mean for that to happen, but it did. Can I search all that? 
No, okay. I will take this and read it later. You there? What do you? I okay. Yeah, I was not expecting that at all. I love that. I love that so much. Oh yeah, I want this too. I want that as well. All right. Hey, stop that. Okay, so we can't be up there at all. Okay. Well, I want to save scum again because I did not know that. Now we know. Saves coming is fun. Well, he came down quick. All right, we're not gonna go up there and do that again. In fact, we are going to do this. Read this one, read this one, and then read this one. What does Mayor Cecil, Captain Aureus, or Evelyn have to do with it? The Second Life, Death Rites and Rituals Among the Seven Races. Volume 1, Imps and Orcs. Okay. How long is this? Okay, not very long at all. Cool. Chapter 1, Imps in all cases, the disposal or preservation of imp corpses is left to the discretion of their masters. Typically, imps are simply burned with the evening's refuse or buried alongside the dead pets of the master they served. In rare cases, especially obedient or well-loved imps, will be given the traditional death rites according to the imps master race. In the case of embalming imps, pose no special problems. In fact, they require far less formaldehyde than a typical man, elf, or dwarf. Chapter 2, Orcs. Though their practices may appear savage to the untrained eye, death inspires a complex and sometimes beautiful aspect of Orcish culture. According to the common Orcish religion, Amenhor, the All-Mother receives the souls of the dead. Thus death is typically celebrated, not mourned. The dead's corpse is burned immediately and beautiful totems or other relics are erected atop the grave. These are meant to please the All-Mother when she comes for the spirit of the dead. Next, the tribe members from toddlers to elders 
the queen included form a great ring, each by each relate a cherished memory of the deceased. Thus the life and passing of the deceased are recalled with joy and excitement. However, if there are any caught mourning the dead in words of tears, the punishment is death, for surely anyone, any who would mourn at the passing of the of a soul to the All Mother is a traitor and a disbeliever. Interesting. Very, very interesting to know. All right, so now let's go to. Arceus, um, I sort of sell some more stuff too, just to get rid of it, because we can. Before we go there. Quiet day on the market, it seems. What sort of errors do you want? <coughs> Freezing, what does this do? Silver, poison? Eh. Get to the point. She already has that equipped. Cool. That is better. Join the spud club if you got an eye for farm potatoes. Yeah, no, I might. Never mind, I won't. If I can get her some better armor... Well, what sort of arrows do you want? But I might... Silver? Poison? Get to the point! I might buy this. Yeah, I want to buy this. I've seen some better booties. Okay. Is better. That is better. So my tank is not a tank, but customer. I've never seen an aura so plagued by ether. Thank a I've just the earth scroll to ground you. Ooh. Yeah, this would give her. Let us see if you can choose the finest greens. Okay, I know what I'll be doing then. Hold up now. Join the spud club if you've got an eye for farm potatoes. 
Take all that money back. And actually, can I wear these now? I don't need this, I don't need this, I don't need this. I will keep that because I might need it. All right. That is better armor for her as well. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take that. Let us see if you can choose the finest greens. Portions to be muscle you, scrolls to entussle you. Um, can I equip? No, I cannot. Alright, so I cannot equip those as of yet. Fair enough, okay. But now I can. I've never seen an aura so plagued by ether. Thank a starty. So this. What does this one do? Oh, blank scroll. Okay. I will keep it. We got some more armor. What's our current armor rating? Okay, so she is our tank. Good. Okay, that's good to know. I was looking at the wrong number. Whoops. Okay. Let's go talk to... Wrong way. Let's go... Let's go to Arhu, actually, and get some weapons for my source hunters. Then we will talk to... Arceus. Then we will try to find, um, Wargraf. It's this way. Train up while you can. The next orcish strike could land at any moment. I am a gonna do this. Can't reach. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Done. I think I have enough of that for now, honestly.
You know, versatile controller, huh? I hope your quest fares well, dear hunter. Okay. I'll buy this because I might need it. Alright, we got two Earth. Two Earth. And two fire. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> I hope your quest fares well, dear hunter. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this and this. Perfect. Okay. Checking up on Maxine, the mayor's cat. What a delight she is. The temperament of a tiger, the grace of a leopard, and the manners of a lady all rolled into one. A perfect puss, if ever there was one. By all means. I can't say much more, but that they're madmen. All the more dangerous to us because of their alliance with what should be a natural enemy. You won't see me teaming up with a terrier in a hurry. Huh. Of course. I hope your investigation fares well. I can but piece together what few morsels fell from the grapevine into a rather disappointing meal, I'm afraid. They say a woman arrived in the King Crab Inn sometime after midnight. She retired to a room on the ground floor where she was soon joined by a man who had been nursing the same cup of wine for hours. I say man and woman because both of them were cloaked and recognized by none. About an hour later, another figure arrived, headed for the same room. Soon after, a terrible commotion erupted and the thundering light of magic was witnessed by the few remaining patrons. It took a while for the landlord to pluck up the courage to enter the mystery room. When finally he did, he found Jake there, dead. Hmm. How and why he came to be there, no one knows. But I had a good look around the scene of the crime before the Legion barred anyone from entering. The traces of magic I felt were vile. Source, no doubt. I myself have none. Even though the rest of the town has already mentally tried and convicted Jake's wife, Esmeralda. Now it may well be established that she is in fact the guilty party. I'm not claiming that I'm certain she's innocent, but let's just say that if I really thought this murder case would be so very easily resolved, I wouldn't have sent for source hunters.
He has a point. Empty what mind. What do you think you're doing? I mean, we can just do it again. Who cares? We'll just do that again. I hope your quest fares well. What? What a delight she is. By all, of course. I they slice. It took how I might now admit I can't. But so oh, my used to oh, such a big. But oh, I and what might those be? Oh shoot! His stock changed. Interesting. Oh wow! Well, yeah, it did change. Okay, I mean what might those be? One of them? You know what? Here's the remote access device with which I use to control it. There's a manual for that somewhere around here too. Yours if you can find it. I really should invite Victoria one of these days so she can help me organize my mess of a library. Um, so he has nothing but fire this time. Why is that one? Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, fire is not so bad. Yeah, I just need... okay. Level 5? Okay. Um, what do I have equipped right now? Oh. Uh, oh, okay. Huh. The stock changes, huh? Source Hunter, welcome, welcome. All right. As much as I want fire, I will buy a couple. So, let's see. I can't use that one. Now I need a... A lightning staff, okay. I hope your quest fares well, dear hunter. Wait, hold on, I... I 
I don't see it. Whatever. It is what it is. All right. Oh, okay. Okay, I did sell the right ones. Good. Okay. I might try to use this one. Yeah, I'll buy that. Offhand it. Okay. How can I help you, my friend? All right. We are set here. I am going to do this. Ah, my nose is itching. Ah. And she knows. What have we here then? A so called source hunter, eh? Well, look, do what you must in Sisil, but don't make waves and don't interfere with the Legion's affairs, you hear? Whom would you have the Legion arrest? No, it's the actual killer we're looking for, not an intermediary. Let's not lose focus. <coughs> All right, we'll do it your way. Why bring up the subject of arresting someone if you don't dare go through with it? Damn waste of time, you. <sighs> if you must. Uh... Gods above! Some politician snuffs it and everyone's in an uproar. Ridiculous. I told that wizard brat of an Ahu not to bother. But he just had to send for source hunters, didn't he? Bloody magicians. They see a pigeon poop and think sorcery is afoot. <laughs> I want to be kept in the loop. Understand? I am in command of this town, not Mayor Cecil, not Ahu, and definitely not some hotshot source hunter. So investigate Jake's death if you feel so inclined, but report back to me the moment you discover something out of the ordinary. The scene of the crime is over at the King Crab Inn. You can tell the guard you have my permission to enter. Now off with you. Esmeralda is Jake's wife. Well, well. Widow. Everyone in town, down to the crabs on the beach, is convinced she killed him. Now, the girl has the reputation of being a flirt. There is that. But that doesn't suffice as evidence, wouldn't you say? Or do source hunters rely on hearsay alone, perhaps? That certainly would explain some of the cock-ups you lot have made in the past. What? You're going to stand there and claim with a straight face your order never wrongly tortured and executed anyone? Hardly. But I won't stand for such nonsense. If you bring evidence before me, I'll evaluate it with perfect objectivity. The Legion relies on reason, see? Not idle superstition. So, you found a blooded knife in Esmeralda's cellar. Guess you can scratch the top candidate off your list of cliched clues then. Not exactly enough to arrest her for, is it? How to plan the perfect murder? Really? Really? She might as well wear a dress with the words I killed Jake and I liked it embroidered on it. But that alone wouldn't suffice to convince me. So convince me, Hunter, and keep looking. Oh, if you must. 
<sighs> Bravo! Figured that one out, did you? I hadn't been stuck here for two years because we're being besieged by fluffy kittens, you know. Oh, come on. Those brain feasting freaks out there keep on coming. And it takes all the sword arms and all of our who's half baked contraptions to keep them at bay. Keeping them at bay, that is all we do. Were that I could break their backs once and for all. I'd say they are looking for weak spots in our defenses. They can't make an attack over land for fear of Ahu's magical machines, so they're trying their luck by sea. They won't succeed, though. Not against the Legion. Hmm. Yes, and he also spends most of his time in the guise of a cat, licking God's knows which body parts, sects, sorcerers. He'll be seeing flying carpets next. <sighs> if you must. Okay. What's down here? What's this? Huh. Do you hear that clinking? I think someone's got keys in their pocket. Quiet! No talking to these scandals, criminal scam. You mean this rat? <laughs> Excuse me, Grabby Gus. This is a Legion treasure room, and absolutely no non Legionnaires are allowed in. Okay. That rat just ate food. <laughs> oh, that sneaky little rat. All right. You don't think it's infected, do you? Sorry, sir. Come on now, I pulled her off you before she could do any real damage. Any real damage? Let's see what. Ice blue eyes narrow beneath a heavy brow streaked with sweat and dust. Her hands tense into claws, held at the ready. Her brow knits together, but something in her pose relaxes. She clears her throat. I am bear daughter. I have not come here to find trouble with the screech woman. She only startled me. And you. You are a source hunter. I have heard many tales of your order. Your history is long and honorable. This woman here, the one who now plots her revenge, she crept behind me while I was hunting, and I only defended myself. I, I would not hurt an innocent screech woman on purpose. But soon their swords were upon me, and they, they forced me into this cage meant for dogs. Mother would rip the fur from her chest if she could see how they keep me. I don't think it's infected. Bear Daughter remains silent, but stands at her full height. Hey, who's that then? Come on, stand where my good eye can see you. Easy, Tull. That's the source hunter you're talking to. Hmm. She may have the look of a woman if you squint hard enough, but she's no more than a wild animal. We got reports of a strange-looking outsider skulking through the town with her bow drawn. I found her crouched behind a tree, taking aim at a fat old rat trotting along the city walls. I tapped her on the shoulder to see what was what, and the beast startled like a wild cat and lunged right at me. Bit Talia right in the face, she did. 
It wasn't pretty, and now it's got a chunk ripped off it to boot. Enjoy it while you can, Ver. There's not another legionnaire in the cohort that'll have you if I go rabid. Well, that's to be decided. She doesn't seem to be sick, despite Tully's moaning. We can't keep her here forever, but we can't well send her into the wilds again, can we? Sir, that's a mighty big if. We can't have one of our team wandering off into the wilds when we need her to be watching our backs. Can't say I'm surprised. You wouldn't want an untamed thing like that sleeping next to you at night. Now it's for us to decide what to do. If I've got my say, we'll take her into the woods and put her down. Say, Source Hunter, do you reckon the vendor's got any large, rather large, burlap sacks lying about? And where's the nearest river anyhow? She may have the look of it. We got her right top. Bit tall. Enjoy it while you... Well... After all, a fear... Well, that's a relief, ain't it? Heed me. Score! Now, what skills does she have? All right, none. Of course. Sorry, sir. Attention! About face. All right. That's what I wanted to know. Bear daughter is good, but any real damage? Are you joking? <coughs> I've been mauled. I'll be disfigured for life. I want. Uh, come on with the dramatics. It's not as bad. I as want Wolgraf for later endeavors. But anyways, I am going to go ahead and put a cut here, and I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.